So I'm going to be demonstrating the basic, couple basic different ways to use nasal snuff, and I'm going to be doing a review. I'm going to show you the back of the hand method, the pinch method, and the boxcar method. I'll give you a couple of notes and pointers on the way after I'm done showing you. Now, right, you want to make your hand like this to do the back of the hand, and right through here is your anatomical snuff box. What you want to do is, I'm using my snuff snuff box here. It's a, also doubles as a tap box. You want to slide the lid back, take some out, tap a little bit on there. That's a little bit much. That's a little bit. That's about a good size one for me. Want to take it and go. And then, same thing for the other nostril. Wipe off your nose. It's important to have a handkerchief. Because you know it, you'll get you'll get front drip on most snuffs. Then again, it depends on the person. I seem to get no front drip on most of my snuffs, and it's good to wipe off the excess. You don't want to go around looking like a, a drug addict or anything. Now on the snuff box, you open up the lid. To do a pinch, take a healthy size pinch, blow the excess off so it doesn't fly to the straight to the back of your throat. Hold it up to your nose, and like I said, this is a light sniff. This is a medium to light sniff because this is coarse. On a medium grind, you want to take a lighter sniff, and on a really fine grind, you want to take a very very light sniff. I suggest for I suggest for uh, beginner users using buddy sniffs is where you fill your lungs three quarters of the way and take very light sniffs, a bunch of very light sniffs. It's better on the back of a hand if you do it like that. Um, and when you, if you do a pinch, you want to roll, you want to do this. At the time that you breathe in, you want to roll your finger back and push your finger up against your nose like your thumb up against your nose like this this is the pinch and you always want to pinch your nose with coarser snuffs because it kind of tends to fall out wipe your nose You can take, you can use one hand or two hands to do this, to pinch. I usually use two. <laughs> take another pinch, blow on it, get the excess off, block off one nostril if you want, and I prefer the back of the hand because it doesn't clump up like that. While, whereas these coarser ones clump up and tend to fall out, to be prepared for that, the back drip on this isn't too bad as if, as long as you don't get any actual tobacco in it. But if you, because if you do, it's kind of bitter. Now I'm going to show you the back of the hand, no, the box car. I mean. You can use a tap box or you can pinch some out to do this, but what you want to do is take your fingers like this, tuck your finger into your index thumb, tap some out. However much you want, put it up to your nostril and 
block your other nostril. Give it a good, good couple of sniffs. Rub your nose again. It also helps to take deep breaths. Tap it, tap another one. And if you're having a hard time getting it in there with this way, raise your thumbnail up as you breathe in. Most people say to take a deep breath when, after you take the snuff in, like this. Bend your nose. Rub. Wipe off the excess. It's important to note that if you do it too hard, which most beginners will, without proper instruction, I've only been doing this for a couple months, but I've pretty much got it down. If you breathe too hard, it'll go to your sinuses, and that really burns. So try not to do that, or it'll go to your to your back of your throat or into your lungs even. So try to avoid it. Now, another thing, if you're going to do the, uh, it's good to breathe in about three quarters of the way, and then do it. Now. It, snuff comes in just about any flavor you could possibly want. You can get a citrus one. You can get mentholated, which is medicated. That helps clear up your nose. Generally, any snuff, snuff will clear up your nose if you're, snuffed, if you're stuffed up. Um, it's good. It's good to... What, what I've heard recommended to do is take your first snuff of whatever whenever you take a snuff and wait about five ten minutes and take another one and enjoy it for thirty minutes an hour two hours however long you want to do it for then take the next one I do that sometimes but I've already snuffed this a lot because I messed up in the other video um, it's try you can you'll make a mess the first time you do it so I'll be prepared to clean that up. Um, this is, like I said, this is the, the crawling say AP, which is based on a Latakia tobacco, which is fire cured not, with a pine or, or spruce. So it gives it a nice smoky smell and a little bit of a piney smell, which I like. This has actually my, been my, I, since I got my order yesterday, I've been using this stuff pretty much the whole time. Like I said, it's a really good snuff. It would be a good one for a beginner because it's got about a medium moisture and it's more coarse. But remember, when you're transitioning to a lighter snuff and more finer of a grind, you don't want to use the same kind of not breathe it same kind of strength you do when you use a lot when you use a coarser snuff now it's a good snuff if I had to give it if I had to put it on a scale I'd give it four out of five simply because the back drip if you get the back on it is kind of bitter um, I'd give it a five out of five but because of that I don't it's pretty good, really. Well, that's the end of this. Hope you learned something. Stick around for my next review.